So this is the most exciting technology I have ever featured on this channel. So this is nuts, right? I'm watching this video by, the, I don't know, some awesome YouTuber. I don't know who that is. Um, but if I like drag that window over, this is what I can see, right? That's how it works. That is the weirdest thing. Because that's not really there. These are the air glasses from X-Real, and I have never experienced anything quite like this. Augmented reality is now a thing, and we are living in the future. This is something I'm doing this now. This is something I will struggle to convince you is an actual real thing, and actually looks that good, because I myself have seen other people present this kind of thing and gone, yeah, right, yeah. No, actually. Ac Watch this. This is me from the past experiencing it for the first time. <gasps> okay. <laughs> That's genuine surprise. You can't see that, but there is a screen, like, here. And I can read it like it's... That... There are a whole bunch of use cases for these glasses, and we're going to talk about some of those in today's video. But there are also a whole bunch of considerations that you need to know about before you buy these glasses. And for some reason, a lot of the other YouTubers haven't been talking about these things. I don't know if that's because they simply haven't run across them, or if they didn't want to upset their sponsor, but it's kind of silly, because Xreal have been awesome about all this and told me to be upfront about it. So today's video, without further ado, is not only what is awesome about these glasses, but also some of the things that you should consider before buying them. Let's do it. Thanks to Xreal for sponsoring today's video and for sending me their air glasses. These things have two built-in 1080p displays, but because they're not room-filling VR, you're actually looking at 49 pixels per degree of vision, making the artificial reality TV that you see appear in front of you as an absolutely lifelike and preposterously sharp 130-inch telly. So welcome to another episode where I'm just going to go completely off script a whole bunch of times because much of this episode was recorded on the fly. Stop looking like it's still funny. So this monitor that it projects in front of you is of high enough definition and of such preposterous brightness that you really do start putting your arms out swiping at it like some sort of demented child. You'll actually be pleased to discover that you can turn the brightness down using the little rocker switch on the right arm. But this super bright three-dimensional TV floating in front of your face isn't actually the weirdest part of this. Imagine if it was there all the time, it would kind of suck, it'd be in the way. Uh, and you can do that, if you want it to, you can have it so it is always in front of your face, and it has the ability to kind of do this smooth follow thing, where it moves in a less jerky way, um, and it does in fact look better than what you're seeing, it's kind of, that's an exaggerated motion to make it clear what they do. No. The weirdest part about all of this is body anchor mode. This is the mode that makes it so that the TV stays in place in 3D space. So I can like move my head around and the TV stays where I placed it because the glasses have sensors in them. What? And it is so bizarrely accurate that I can position this fake monitor alongside my real monitor, shake my head around, and look, and it is still in exactly the same place I left it. It doesn't start to overlap my real life monitor, it knows where it's supposed to be, which is just bonkers. It's almost as surreal as this guy prancing around his dance studio. same thing. Hey there! Without you guys, there is no channel. If you could do me a massive favour and just subscribe if you haven't already, give that bell a ding and give this video a thumbs up. Seriously, it keeps me doing this for a living. Really appreciate it.
on with the show. At the ends of the arms are these little speakers, and whilst they're not exactly cinema sound, they are perfect for just watching some YouTube on the train. And if you want to really block out the world, you can cover the front of the glasses over with this lens cap, which will give you a completely immersive experience and, I might add, a 130 inch TV on the train. This could really help let people know that you have absolutely no interest in speaking to them. You could avoid unpleasant interactions with Home Assistant users in the wild, where they roam, where they should be stopped. I need to talk to you about home, assistant. Anyone that uses Alexa routines is an imbecile. And I think that's the point of these things. You can take a giant monitor anywhere you like, or an additional monitor for your laptop, and it's in these tiny little things, and you get to decide how immersive they are. You can use them as just ordinary glasses and still see what's going on in the world around you. You can use the little built-in speakers and still hear what's happening, or you could put the blinkers on and you could stick in Bluetooth earbuds into your ears and block out everything. This is absolutely revolutionary technology. So from a technical standpoint, these glasses are acting as a monitor. You can plug them into your PC or an Apple Mac or a mobile phone or even a Steam Deck games console and all of these devices would just go, oh, a monitor has been plugged in and it will act accordingly. And it has been confirmed as working with a Steam Deck, which of course gives you a 130 inch screen in your pocket and better resolution than you actually get on the built in screen, which is mind blowingly cool. But I think the biggest use case for me personally is to plug them into a laptop. My PC, I can plug it into that and it acts as an additional monitor immediately. You will need this Xreal Beam to actually make that work currently because there is no software for Windows that will allow you to position the screen in real space. The Beam does give you the ability to position the screen in real space wherever there is no software available to do so. So the Xreal Beam is an additional product that is well worth buying for a lot of scenarios. And we'll talk more about those scenarios at the end of the video again. There is, however, software available for the Mac, which allows you to plug the glasses directly in without having to buy the beam at all. And this will give you the ability to see three virtual or augmented reality screens right in front of your face or just two or one. You can decide this for yourself using the software. And again, you can position these in real space because the Mac acts in place of the x -real beam to position them, which is flipping brilliant. Imagine this on a flight. You've got work to do and you've got three monitors in front of you up here and they're enormous instead of having to deal with a laptop like down here where you've got to crane your neck down to see the screen because flights are hor I hate flying. So <laughs> to demonstrate the magnitude of this situation, I asked AI to generate some images of what it would look like if you brought an extra monitor of this size on a plane with you. smaller than that though, you could plug the glasses directly into a Samsung phone and use DeX. If you haven't seen DeX, it's basically a full-blown computer operating system with a proper Windows style thing. And if you plug these glasses into them, you'll be able to see your monitor, use a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse, and my god, flights will be like working in this office. Only horrible, because I hate flying. Wow. Possibly most exciting of all though, because there is a screen in both of the lenses, they can do stereoscopic 3D. If you hold down one of the buttons on the underside of one of the arms, it puts it into 3D mode, and as long as it's plugged into a 3D source, you can watch a 3D movie. You can watch a 3D movie on a plane! Dude, that's the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life. Ken Dolpaul, only from Mattel. Thank you, Ken Dolpaul. Tiny little air-headed buffoon. The 3D effect is super cool, and there are several games already available specifically for Xreal's platform, which in itself is also looking like it has a lot of potential, but it's not available to everybody, and therefore, I think it's time to talk about some of the things that aren't so great. 
oh look his green screen's gone why has he done that let's talk about it in the comments and have youtube engagement so um <laughs> basically these glasses are dumb they are not actually intelligent this thing adds all the intelligence or the device you plug them into adds all the intelligence why is this a problem the problem is that without this you don't get to position your monitor in 3d space unless the device you plug it into has the software to position the screen in 3d space apple macs have this software windows pcs will soon have this software too and this will give you the ability to position the augmented reality screens in real space and in the case of the apple mac you can actually have triplicate monitors which is super awesome some phones have less compatibility than others i've been really unlucky because my pixel 7 basically has zero compatibility because the pixel 7 doesn't have a display port on the bottom of it can't do anything thanks google morons my samsung galaxy s10 edge has quite a bit of compatibility but it's a little bit sluggish because it's an old phone apparently it's very old according to xreal <laughs> That sucks. So my Pixel 7 is no good at all. My S10 is okay, I guess. And that's why I bought an iPhone. Uh, don't look at me like that. Good. Good. Because iPhones are like crazy over security and because they have their own stupid proprietary output port, it can output video, but you have to use a special adapter cable to do it. And I wasn't able to get sound out of it at the same time. Um unless I plugged in the glasses directly to the iPhone without the beam and then put power into it so that they were power. It's really complicated and awkward. On your screen right now is a whole list of things that I've come across during my testing because it's too much to go into now. Pause the video and have a look and see if you can understand, hopefully, under what circumstances you will need an x real beam to get things working and under what circumstances phones are likely to work. There is, and I should stress this, a whole massive list on the Xreal website of phones that are perfectly compatible. Most new Samsung phones, Oppos and LGs are absolutely fine. This might look like a dreadful table of misery, but actually you're more than likely going to have devices that are perfectly compatible if your phone isn't dead old, if your phone isn't a Pixel, and if your phone isn't an iPhone. All of this has the potential to change, of course, because this is all super, super new. Check the description, I shall let you know there what the updates are and when things have improved. If you're looking at this video going, well, what's the point of it then? The point is that loads of things are compatible and the experience is just out of this world. For my laptop alone, this will add so much functionality, it's out of this just, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm, I'm that excited about it. I recommend you buy one if you're interested in working on a flight or you like the idea of having a 130 inch monitor to take with you for your handheld gaming console. As long as you check first of all that your thing spits out a picture via USB-C, you should be fine. That said, links are in the description as to where you can pick one up. In the meantime, these incredible people are from Patreon. Without them, I wouldn't have a channel. I would be doing something else for a living they are the best humans on the planet. You can be one of those guys at either Patreon or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal, and either way, I will genuinely love you forever. These are my Facebooks and my Instagrams and my Xs and my TikToks too. Come and hang out there and can be best friends. See you next time. You can plug them into your PC or your Mac or your... Uh... Eh... Eh...